welcome to another episode of DIY. Honestly, I've tried this canned wine before and I didn't like it, so... I have backup. <laughs> and I know it's really popular, but it's just not my favorite. Well, I mean, it's not terrible. I feel like it's better than the last time we tried it. You wanna try it? Sure. Maybe I'm just not a rosé girl. I, I like. love the packaging, so I really wanna love it, but it's just not my favorite. But if you wanna try a rosé and you're a really big rosé person, these are wicked convenient. Like, look how much wine I just got out of the scan. And they're adorable. You could probably take some cute Instagrams with them. The link is trywink.com slash Madeline for all your wine needs. $22 off your first order of wine. That's about $6 each, so you're welcome. You can also get other wines just like this. I've tried a bunch of different ones that are on their site on different episodes, so click, click, click through all those and you can see what those are like. I didn't even want to drink today. I'm like, Maddie, get your life together. <laughs> but I can't, because this is part of my life. What we're doing today, I'm gonna be making two jean jackets that I thrifted. And I'm gonna be making them into Mr. and Mrs. jackets on the back that are like kind of matching with their picture. I don't know, I have a lot of ideas. I got the Jacquard textile paint that Julia used in the last episode. For all these paints, it was about $29, which is pretty decent for the amount you got. Then I got a bunch of different colors of embroidery thread just to do added like details and add texture to the back. I'm making these specifically for Tess Christine and MGM Patrick on Instagram. Um, Pat and Tess are like my favorite YouTube couple ever. <laughs> so I just thought it would be cool to like make them this because obviously I don't have a valid time to make them for. And they just recently got engaged so I thought it would be perfect. I got this at L Train Vintage in Williamsburg. It was $13 for her coat and $18 for his. They're both like nice fit. I made a random guy try on <laughs> Patrick's because we had no idea what the fit was. It looks like the sleeves might have to be taken in a little bit and I might do that or I'll just let him do that if he wants to. I don't really know. I'm gonna use this picture for the inspiration for Tessa's jacket and this picture for the inspiration for Pat's and hope it goes well. I'm gonna change them a little bit and try to add like some New York City elements to the backgrounds and stuff because I know how much they love the city. So here I go. I'm gonna try to sketch out like the main idea of it in pen. Man, I have just been craving red wine so much lately. I know, it's been really bad. Can we just take a second and look at how amazing this is? So basically what I'm doing is just kind of like tapping on the paint because as you can see it's not totally saturating the fabric but I'm just kind of like blotting it on like where I want it and missing like where my outlines were. I'm kind of just going away from those outlines and I kind of messed it up on her face a little bit and so I kind of went back on the details that I missed with black and that's just kind of how I'm approaching it at this point. If this is the effect that you desire. literally just put paint in my rosé. Damn it! Yeah. I might honestly drink it. Is it the end of your rosé? Don't drink that! Danny, I have honestly been questioning some of your life decisions lately. Now that I've got pretty much their faces, I'm gonna try to like, and their hair and stuff, I'm gonna try to add like detail lines with a smaller brush in black, kind of like how I did on parts of their faces. faces are complete. I feel good about them. They like, yeah, they're, they're good. I don't want to touch them anymore and mess them up. So I decided I'm gonna write misses at the top. I only have one R from that same jersey that I used in the last DIY episode for letters. And I'm gonna put that at the top. And then I'm going to paint the M and the S for her. I'm gonna use some embroidery thread to like outline it or something. I went on her Instagram. <laughs> on her engagement photo, she wrote, 
yes, yes, a million times, my dream man, my dream ring, da 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 So I'm gonna put yes, yes, a million times in quotes, like embroidered at the bottom, and I think that'll be really cute in like red or something. I'm gonna glue it down with this tacky glue all-purpose adhesive for this, and uh, just hope for the best. I'll link everything that I bought down below. Since I got lead paint in the last glass, I guess I'll just do this. Cheers to not having a bad time. <laughs> you got me, kid. Blue, blue. Oh. I don't even know what we're doing today. I just feel like, I don't know. I honestly took so long to thrift shop today. Oh, you have paint on your sleeve. <gasps> there you go. Take a look at my girlfriend, girlfriend. She's the only one I got. Not much of a girlfriend, girlfriend. Doesn't need to get alive. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Do you think I should leave it that patchy, or do you think I should make it thicker, or should I leave it patchy because the rest is patchy? It kind of fits the paint vibe. I think it fits the paint vibe. All right. I feel bad because I feel like this DIY. If you don't have any painting skill, this isn't achievable. <laughs> I'm sorry. Unless you trace something, which still is gonna be hard. Yeah. I mean, you could try to like make a stencil. If like you words. went through the process of taking the photo, blowing it up, then outlining the key outlines, and then cutting out all of like the thick outlines that you went over in Sharpie with like an X-Acto knife or something, and then painted in where the lines are, you could easily do it. Way to go. That's my best approach if you don't know how to paint. But I just, I really just want them to have these gifts and uh, hopefully tag me in a photo with them in it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. Two. This is coming out pretty sick. I'm pretty proud of what's happening here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really glad you're a good mover. Yeah, if I went to auditions, they would be like, are you a dancer? And he'd be like, no. Oh. He'd be like, are you a mover? And I'd be like, am I a mover? <laughs> yes. I <laughs> move. I'm a mover. <laughs> At me move. Oh, I'm missing a cap. Singer mover. Oh, for sure singer. dark blue pen on purpose because like it's not like if you looked at this you would just like think that it was like a design like you wouldn't be able to read what it says that's disgusting <laughs> you're gross yeah yeah I am. you're a garbage girl that's right just remember like it's hard to make smooth lines too so you're gonna have to have a lot of like making up a nice line So, Tess, if you're wondering why your jacket smells like rosé. Don't give me that damn look. Yeah. <gasps> How dare you tighten that ponytail. So, it's two days later. <laughs> um, I didn't have time to finish the second one because we had one of our roommates living on our couch and this was kind of his bedroom. So, would have been rude to continue for another couple hours. Now I'm drinking water because I have to work in four and a half hours, five hours. I'm gonna do pass the same as I did Tess's. I think hers came out great. I'm so excited. So hopefully I don't mess up this one because it's honestly a cool vintage jacket. It's a Marlboro country store jacket, which I just think is cool, even though don't smoke kids, but like vintage, that's pretty cool. Okay. It's not as dramatic when it's no one. <laughs>
so that's it thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe eh? and follow me on instagram at madeline hickson i will have a lot more style and fashion inspo for you make sure to go on ku.me slash madeline hickson to submit your anonymous questions for my eat your feelings series it's an advice series where i just answer questions tell you about stuff you know whatever you ask i answer and make some good food i guess that's it bye Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day for the win!